This is the 24-hour economic clock. One job, three shifts, three people. One, three, three. One job, three shifts, three people. Obiabe Didi. Ezu. Extraordinary problems require extraordinary solutions for extraordinary results. And so businesses and public organizations will be encouraged to operate 24-7 in three shifts of eight hours each. This will boost production it will increase employment and provide well-paying jobs. It will transform Ghana into an import substitution and export-led country. It will increase employment opportunities and revenue, and it will enhance access to public services. We will focus on some selected public institutions that have huge customer traffic. For instance, the ports and harbors should be open 24-7. That means we have to employ more workers at the port, we have to employ more customs officers, more GAPOHA uh, workers, more forklift operators and all that. We need customs. Customs should work 24-7, three shifts, so that at any time your items come, customs at any time of the day is open for business. You can go and process your uh, import things uh, papers and take your things out of the port. We must have a passport office that is operating longer than eight hours so that people who need passports and other site documentation can have access to it. We must have a DVLA that is working more shifts than one shift so that more people can get their licenses processed in a shorter time than the current waiting time. In the private sector, the sectors that we are looking to promote and encourage to run 24-7 and three shifts are first the agro-processing sector. That is those who will process our cassava into cassava starch, cassava flour, gari and all that. There's a huge market in Africa for all these products and in other parts of the world. Manufacturing, that is industry. Is manufacturing, that is industry. And so the textiles industry, the fruit uh, juice making industry, all the industries, the iron and steel industry, will be encouraged to run 24 7. The pharmaceutical se 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 sector, we want Ghana to be the pharmaceutical hub of the whole of Africa so that we'll produce medicines here and export them to all other African countries. Construction sites. We want our construction companies to work 24-7 all, uh, all hours round so that they can deliver our infrastructure faster than they currently do. Financial services, the same. Sanitation and garbage collection. It is better to collect garbage, bola, in the night rather than collect the bola and be competing with cars in the daytime when we have rush hour traffic. Extractive industries, the mines, mining bauxite, mining gold, mining manganese, lithium, they must work 24-7, three shifts every day. Hospitality industry, our restaurants, our uh, 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 discotheques, our nightclubs, our hotels, 24-7, 24 hours a day. Retail centers, all the malls, there's no reason why you should start. People can come in the night time and buy items, so they should work longer than eight hours. Transportation services, there should be buses running 24 hours so that people who have to go to their jobs can be able to get a bus to go to their jobs. Security services, we need safety and security to be able to implement the 24-hour economy. And so we need more, more police officers, we need more soldiers, we need more prison officers, more fire service officers, more customs, more immigration. Ezu, 
Now, the support package for 24-hour businesses is to stimulate demand for 24-hour economic goods and services. And this will be supported by strategic investments in infrastructure, in security, in energy. We'll have public and private security architecture, cheaper and reliable electricity. That is a time of use tariff. So in the ninth when we're not using much of the power and it's going to waste, we can supply it to the 24-hour economy enclave at cheaper rates than we currently charge. Tax incentives to companies that will sign up for the 24-hour economy they will be giving tax incentives so they pay lower taxes so they can reinvest invest what they have saved back into increasing their production. We will give them support from the Ghana Exim Bank, especially for the agro-processing and manufacturing sectors that are going to be exporting. We will support SMEs operating um, uh, capacity with catalytic investments to upgrade and generate jobs.